Hi, I'm Angela Clark with APQS Rally and Threadwiggle Quilting. And I've gotten a lot of questions recently with people asking what foots, what hopping foot system they have on their APQS machine. We actually have multiple hopping foot systems that you could have depending on the age of your machine. We started out with solid shafts on our hopping feet um, and you had the one that was installed on your system. And then eventually we came up with a system called the interchangeable foot um, that lets you switch feet and there were four additional feet you could put on your system. Well, recently we came up with an even better um, one called the quick change foot, which is um, another system that will let you put the, those four feet on it, but you don't have to reset the height of your hopping foot if you change feet. So there are three different systems you could have. Let me walk you through and show you the three systems, and then we'll talk about what you can do if you want to upgrade. This is a solid shaft for an old APQS machine. This one is actually an Ultima one, but it's the same idea where you can see that there's no junction on here for you to be able to change your foot. So if you have an older machine that you don't have any splits in your shaft or a little coupler on the bottom of it um, that the foot would slide onto, you can have this shaft replaced with a new shaft, if you were going to do that, I would suggest just going ahead and going to the quick change shaft that it came out with the My19 machines. So this foot system is the interchangeable foot system from APQS, and it was around from around 2012 until 2018. So the way you would see if you had an interchangeable foot on your system is to look for the split, see the split going down the shaft, and then there are two little black screws that have Allen head screw or Allen head screw tops on them on the back of the shaft here for you to change your foot. If you have that system, you need to look for feet for the interchangeable foot system. This is the quick change foot for our APQS. So this came out in 2019 and you can see there is a little black screw on this left hand side. That is what you would unscrew to put the foot onto your machine. So the wonderful thing about this new quick change foot is that you do not have to change the height of your hopping foot when you change feet. If you're using a quick change, or if you're using the interchangeable foot system, you do have to check your hopping foot height any time that you change your foot. And that is because those were hand welded. We are now casting our feet with the quick change system, so you don't have to change your hopping foot. And this is why I would suggest if you do not have either system that you go ahead and go up to the quick change system. So my scoop foot was on my interchangeable foot um, when I did that, shot that video. And then I had a low profile foot on my Millie. So you've seen those two feet. These are the other three feet. This high profile foot would come standard on your machine. Um, and I have swapped that for the low profile foot that's currently on my Millie. You all in the kit would also get a high profile open toe foot and a low profile open hole foot. And then there's extra screws in the kit and also a little pair of snips for you. And it all comes in this pretty little leather APQS case. When you do upgrade your system, your foot or the shaft is going to come with a high wall hopping foot on it. The kit that has the additional three feet in it is, is an additional cost, and a scoop fit is also an additional cost. But your initial purchase of the shaft will come with a high wall hopping foot on the shaft. If you do decide to upgrade your solid shaft to a new shaft that you can change your feet on, right? Um, I would go to the quick change foot. And the reason is that the quick change foot, you don't have to adjust your foot every single time. It just makes your life a lot easier. Your APQS dealer can do this for you. APQS can do it for you as well. It's an upgrade that eventually I will probably be doing on my Milli 30 so that it goes to a quick change foot, even though it has an interchangeable foot. It is just so much easier to change the foot on the newer system. I hope this video has been helpful and informative for you. If you would like more videos for, like this in the future, please comment underneath this video and tell us things that you would like us to film. 
Also like our videos. That actually helps us know that we're filming things that you want us to film. And subscribe to the channel for more information. You can also get more information off of my website, which is threadwaggle.com, and off of the APQS website. Both companies want to help you. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you soon.